Alright, here with Brian McKenzie, owner and all around do everything kind of guy here at the brand spanking new Finger Lakes Distilling on the east side of Seneca Lake. Brian, how are you today? Doing great, Paul. How about you? Very good, thank you. Now, tell me, tell me, Finger Lakes Distilling, what's the deal? You're not making wine. No, no, we're, uh, we're doing a lot with local grapes, but we're taking things a step further. We're distilling, and we're turning uh, local grapes into brandy and, uh, and, lo and vodka, locally produced vodka. We're also doing uh, a lot of whiskey uh, production, and we're going to do some uh, liqueurs, gin, a whole range of distilled spirits. And what would you say, can you, in a short sentence, differentiate and explain to the viewer what the difference in terms of taste is between grape vodka and you know traditional potato boring vodka. Well, we're uh, we're trying to keep some grape character in in the vodka, and and you know so much of the vodka that's on the market is is uh, pushed as this kind of product that's that's so pure and and uh, you know it's distilled. 25 times, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing, and you know that's great. It makes a nice, clean spirit, but we're trying to do something a little different. We want to have a product that's got character to it. So, you know, we we distill up to vodka strength, but we uh, we keep as much grape character as we can uh, within that limitation. So, so when people sample it, they're going to know they're not drinking just run-of-the-mill absolute or something like that. Right. I, well, that's our hope, anyways. We uh, you know really want we want that grape. Uh, you know, we've got some wonderful grapes in the area. And we want that to come through with the vodka. Excellent. We're looking looking forward to an, a tentative launch in June of 2009 with any luck. Is that correct? That's what we're shooting for, yep. Okay, but certainly the summer of 2009, we're going to hit that mark without fail. Sometime during the season here, yep. We'll All right. Be oh. open and safe answer, yep. Brian. Very <laughs> safe answer. And just briefly, what do you have behind you? It's gorgeous. This piece of hardware is really beautiful. Well, this is our uh, showpiece here at the facility. It's uh, uh, handmade in Germany. Uh, we custom designed uh, the still here, this is a um, pot still and rectification column. So just about everything we make goes through uh, this at one point in time. Uh, it's the way we vaporize the alcohol and uh, recondense it back into spirit. And one thing I wanted to get to, just because I, I found it fascinating before we, we close out. If you can, you, you talked earlier when we were chatting about this tub right here. This, this all barrel, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> we got a tiny little bit of liquid that we can see down there in the bottom. That was this, that was this morning's run. We've uh, been playing around with a single malt whiskey. And uh, that, that's what we produced this morning out of about 200 gallons of mash. And we should have about 20 gallons of... Um, finished spirit of that. So uh, so it's like a 1 to 10 ratio. Exactly. And so then when people pay the slightly higher cost per ounce, they're going to know why. Yep. There's a lot of work that went into making that mash and, and running it through the spill. So. Excellent. Anything else to say, Brian? I don't think so. Just hope to see everybody uh, this summer when we get open. What's the domain name? Uh, www.fingerlakesdistilling.com. Very nice. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.